and welcome to the Scam Modeler. JC, glad to have your company once again. Well, a huge shout out and huge massive thanks to everybody that um, not only watches me but watches watched Aussie Modelers Live um, take two uh, on Sunday on Saturday night. Yeah, Saturday night. Um, condolences. Um, no, we don't actually pay for any um, counselling services. So sorry about that. But no, it was great with uh, Hibbo and Pete, two awesome people. Thanks to everybody that popped on for the chats. <laughs> it was bloody awesome. Um, yeah, it was great. It was great. So Sunday night, 6 p.m. Australian time, uh, Brisbane. Uh, that's when we're on. Um, so yeah, if you're looking out for these guys, please drop on by. Well, this episode, something a bit different. Um, a couple of things. I'll, um, before I head down, again... If you're new to the channel, guys, please hit that like and subscribe and the bell notification. Um, support some great Aussie companies, outlawpaints.com.au, Monique from Nicky Stiggy, and um, Andrew from fullballmodels.com. He's got some great stuff in the works. So, But we'll go back to Iggy Sticky. I've got a bit of a love package, a care package from Monique there, and a few little bits and bobs, but I'll show you something that... She's just released, and you really got to get on to these guys. That's ickysticky.com.au. We'll put the camera down here, and we'll open it up. I haven't even touched it, but, uh, yeah, here we go. Right. Tungsten micro bit, um, sorry, tungsten micro drill bit set. Drill size zero... 0.1 to 3.0. Right out with the pin vice handle. Um, these long lasting drill bits are made from high quality tungsten steel for precise, easy to use, and variety of materials such as plastic, resin, wood, soft metals, and much more. Warning drill, drill bits are extremely thin and sharp. Avoid contact with bare hands to prevent injury. Not for use by children under the age of 14. Carefully remove bits from pack. Wear eye and hair protection. Okay. Let's crack them open and see what we got. Oh, yeah. Put into the side here. What's in the plastic bag? We have it. Dun, dun, dun. Right. Then, one pin voice. Hey, that's... That's a solid little pin, I see. Fully adjustable. Very good. Six and one half dozen of them. Yep, awesome. All right, yeah, I'll whack that there. Right, we'll zoom in on these. All right, yeah, let's get them in the right order. 0.1. Oh, yeah. Well, that'll help out with your uh, colour colours there, so you can always remember if you can. At our age, sometimes we can't. Blue, pinkish, salmon, and yellow. Okay, right. Yeah. Can he open them up? Is there a special way? Right. right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. How do you do these ones? I've never done this one. See, you're seeing it as it happens. There's got to be a better way. Right. There's got to be a way. Does that go that way? Or does it go that way? Oh, there we go. There we go. Pretty sure that's it. Nope.
Ah, there we go. <laughs> just pulls it back like that. Well done. Well, have a look at those, folks. Right, as I said, we'll zoom in on that. So they will sit up nicely. You can have them sitting up on, up on your desk. And they they look unbelievably good. Let's take uh, this bugger out. Yeah, wow. Right, let's open the hole here. Locked in tight. Awesome. All right, okay. let's have a cracker. Yeah, it seems to be. Oh, well. Now that's sharp. Wow. Yeah, that, that is pretty darn good. Sorry, a uh, little evening there. Whatever, right. So boom. Shut that up. Okay, so you can lock them in something similar like that. Let's see if I can do it again. Nope. Oh, the joys of Alzheimer's Max is just a wondrous thing. There we go. Again, have one of those. No, we'll get the other way out. And I've noticed in here and on the back. The drill bits are supported, the tips are all supported, so yeah, that's pretty good. Idea. Right, there we go, oh, look how quick that was. Once you know, <laughs> done. And they are thicker drill bits, and they look very, very darn sharp and pretty darn amazing. Alright, so there they are with. Your pin buys from ickysticky.com.au.au. So make sure you go and see me Nick there. Tell her I sent you, Jason, Aussie scale modeler. Alright well, guys, I'll put these away out of harm's way or out of me touching them. Yeah, probably something up. Beautiful. They're not that hard to open up once you've opened them up. I could have practiced, rehearsed it, but um, yeah, I'm not Spielberg, so there. Right. Well, as you would have noticed on Aussie Modeler Live, I was up. I shared with uh, the boys something that I found in my stash. They're a bit upset because they thought, oh, he's going to add it and to the diorama of the uh, Panzerbill. I didn't make them believe that's what was happening, but. I was coming out of my shed, I had to go and help the wife out with something, um, she was doing the pool. And, no, that's right, I was looking for my coffee cup, my well, well, paint's coffee cup, and um, I don't know what it was doing all the way up there, but again, Alzheimer's a great thing. And um, I went past the big stash, my big stash is up there, and this one popped out of me, I went, oh, let's turn this around, and was a little bit in there. The SD KFC Triple Two Lecter Panzer Wagen or Panzer Swaffwagen Africa Core. And I thought, well, the Panzer Paws Africa Core. <laughs> Happy days. So let's open this up. Now, before we do, it's got put some photo etching, some aluminium gun barrels. That was pretty cool. Um, there she is, there's some of the artwork on the side. And there we go again. Get in there, nice and focused. 
bit of the photo etch, and as per usual, I know. We're going to do two unboxing, folks, because yeah. So this is just sitting in the stash, but I have no idea why I would have bought it. But, I did. <laughs> right, yeah, you normal to me and stuff. Um, Starting off with the uh, hang on, let's get lower hull assembly, propeller shaft, lower arms, wheels. Yeah, oh, cool, so we can... mm -hmm. yeah how to attach wheels? So yeah. Oh. Okay, it's got a big ring there. Pretty good. How to do your photo etch? Where the bends? Where the bends are. Oh, look at that! You get a jerry can, another drum, tap, water pump, well, fuel pump drum. Right, and also we have. But wait, there's more. Have a look. Here's the motorbike. How cool is that? Um. Oh, there's even a little map here you cut out and use. I'm not sure if it's this map you use or it would be the map. Is there a map on the decals? Let's have a look at that. Anyway, there's everybody. All three drums. Um, you can have him. Goggles. Off the bike. On the bike. Doing the two-step, I don't know what he's doing there, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Thank you to me for that. And I'm guessing this next would be all the paint scheme and decal placement. Yep, so first company 30, first quarter 33rd recon, first company third recon, 21st Panzer, 15th Panzer. This is probably the one I'd do if I was going to keep. Yeah, no oh, yeah, so there's two here. Third Recon Battle Kitchen, 21st Panzer Division, North Africa, 42. Same, same. Yeah, so yeah, right out, cool. So five images for every, um, and you've even got the grease one there in the back. Um, where are... Hmm. Oh yeah, there's your paints. Yeah, normal Tamiya. Tamiya's great. I mean, if you never started up, you know, haven't started modelling, I'll be starting on a Tamiya kit because it's going to give you... You're going to feel a bit better about life. Okay. That's just the, um, say that's a bike rider, no, hang on, sitting there, could, yeah, that could be part of the bike rider there. Oh, here's the photo, which just jumped out with the gun barrel. Yep, has it been bought out? And, uh, oh, a tiny bit. As the, I was looking at Nigel, he's saying, yeah, and one of the tanks he's looking at, yeah, it could have been bought out just that, but it's going to be painted black, so, yeah. Um, what have we got? Wheels. Yep, it's the uh, outer markings there, oh, the outer body, bits of suspension, more gentlemen, uh, could be the bike rider, no, that could be the tank, or the vehicle's commander there, upper turret there, radios, yeah, right here. One motorcycle. Alright, what have we got? Oh look, nearly almost. <laughs> and there we go. Model done. There we go. Some great detail in it. Really, really good detail. 
Um, I want the chest to be crazy. Heal me. I might have picked this up at a spot, mate, because I'm looking at the way it's all packaged. I'm going, hmm. But here's the your three fuel drums, your jerry cans, jerry can handles, jerry can latches, tap, and the fuel pump, and lids, and decals. Okay, very, very good. All right, well, we're going to work through that one. I just thought I'd quickly share and do an unboxing on that one. But the main one I want to get to now, don't think it in any way, shape, or form, folks. I'm getting excited about tanks. I'm building a Panzer, and my life's changed, and here yeah, I'm going away from my beloved aircraft and spit, Spitfire. No. If that ever happens, I am six foot under in a box, because that ain't ever happening. Alright, yeah. well, we'll put this one away. And get on to the one which it, I caught out the clip in the corner of my eye in the room and went, hey, let's have a peek. Right, put that away. Right, here we go. Border models. Hang on, is this going to fit in? Yeah. Do I need to tilt up a bit? Maybe. This is a German main, German main battle tank, Leopard 2 A5 or A6 and 6X variant, 135 scale from Border Models. Um, still waiting for my 135, uh, 132 Lancaster. Oh, I can't wait for it to go. I think we're down to about seven or eight weeks. So here we go. Let's unbox it. Um, I'll take the lid off here. Let's turn that up a bit. Let's see what we're doing. Different paint schemes. Look, what are they? They are the. That no, doesn't let you know. Right. We'll put that over here. Let's get into. Um, yeah. Right, we have well screws are in. Looks like wheels out wheels out wheels. Oh. Yep, typical border model. We can reseal this up. Let's just take out one of these. Let's have a peek, shall we? Like great detail in the hub. Even that, whatever that is, I don't know. But everything, everything has got some awesome, awesome detail. Right, okay, so that'll be the end. So let's put that back in there. And tell me, guys, after. Should I do this as just a private build? Because I know it's not part of the group build, but. Um, yeah, should I build another tank? Or you can reserve your judgment. See how it goes, Panzer. Right now, your glassware. Again, crystal clear, not a mark on it. Okay, border. Right, uh, how's the glare there, folks? Um, she's going to be a big girl. Look at the size of the backside there. And she's going to be big girl. Uh, that'll be. Radiators, your air, and oh, look, I'm talking out my, out my butt because I wouldn't have a bloody clue. I'm not a big tank guy, but, but what I'm seeing, the detail is out of this world. I might need sprockets and wheels and hooks. I can see a little bit of flash on these, some of these pieces. But then again, it's very, very minimal. I think border models, not quite up to my standard. I, I, I never have to go 
this is to me a standard. Uh, maybe the um, length is, but yeah, I'm, I'm not going to say yes it is or not. Now, here we go. What are we going to do? Okay, look at the size of that gun down. And the fit. Not, that's just perfect. Like, wow, there's no... I'm guessing that could be... Might be a removal part. The riveting... Wow, I mean, yeah, I am astounded, folks. Um, again, I'm not, would never build a tank over a Spitfire or an aircraft. But I tell you what, I'm, I'm enjoying the tank build, and. I admire you guys who build these things because, wow, you've got some skills. I was talking to Wayne from BB's Hobbies, check him out in the links. And he, I've seen some of his builds and build videos. Wow. Um, his skill level. Of, oh, no way. Okay. Well, folks, if I start building this, you will not... Oh, if you want to see a comedy channel or somebody losing their mind, wow. This would be the tank track bag. There are five sprues of tracks and pins and links. Wow. Nigel, stop laughing. I can see you laughing. Stop it. Wow! Well, let's get one of them out. Oh, Where will I find the entrance? Is this a, is this a, is this a fully seal bag? I don't know. Too many of something. Oh, all the way back. Let's open one of these. Just. I noticed Nigel's was on a different thing altogether, but yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Five full sprues. Woohoo! Oh yeah. I wonder if they'll like to me or they give you this like get out of jail free card with um one of these. <laughs> Tracks go this way. Ooh, okay, wow, look at this. Okay, just for example, now this is 130 pip. Right? 130 pip. I'll go get the Panzer. What did I do with the Panzer? The whole tank. There's your comparison. There we go. That's the back end of it. Without all the added front and back pieces on it. Like the paint from the gun. Wow. Okay. Let's go to front and rear track side of things. Okay. What a monster. What an absolute monster. Having this come down the road at you, good God, that would have been absolutely daunting. Wow. Again, I'm looking for, I don't know if you guys can see here. The detail on the top of this hull. I don't think so. Right, I'll zoom in on there. 
just um, have a look at all this data. And you're adding more with everything else that's in the kit. I haven't checked out how many parts are in it yet. Right now, after looking at those tank tracks, those tracks, I'm daunted and a bit spooked, but I, I am actually going to build it. This is a build. Um, wow. I think it will increase my skill level. It'll definitely test my patience level. Um, that's incredible. Um, now, again, saying you tank boys out there and armor boys, doesn't mean Jace is going, oh, I'm converted. No. But I am in awe looking at what you guys build now, a much higher respect than what you guys do uh, and what it takes to produce armor. So if I was wearing a hat, I'd be tipping it to you. Wow, and I'm I'm not gonna comment and say, oh I've certainly better keep I've got no idea. None. You know what? Yep, just a base point. Have another sprut box. There's so many places. Oh, um what have we got in? That looks like one big barrel of a gun. Um I could be right I could be wrong. But one tiny piece is falling off the screen. One out of all those sprues. No idea. Oh, it's got it. Typical boy. Like they just They spend the time that yeah, this has got to be done, that's gotta be done. Now I've got to open this up. Because I read not that I want to know what corrections are because old enough is right or bloody wrong in a case. Okay, some beautiful photo which plastic coated both sides. Um, yeah. Rubber lugs. This is actually genuine copper spud like copper cable braided. Can you also that? Wow. Good length to it. Decals. Yep. What are the corrections? Whatever's there, whatever's there, whatever's there. Okay, we'll sort that out when I get to the uh, inside. Yeah, um, so there we go. Panzer main battle tank, Leopard 2A5 or A6. One, two, three, or five. Does it tell me straight away how many parts? No. Is it on the box somewhere? Right, the different PE in the sixth and the seven. Very much ring it around one of the upper. Oh my god, oh boy. Well, God help me. <laughs> I got the one who the and other things there. Well, you've got early, A6 early, A6 early, A6 five, or A5 and A6 late. Oh my goodness. This next part, this next page is digitizing the model of the side skirt. Wow, have a look at that. Right, so you've got A5, A6 early, late. Are they grenade launchers or something? Um, it's just there. Bloody hell, wow. 
main turret. I'm glad they haven't changed anything there, I mean. Got that big in there. Got a knock off a bit there. Classy. Oh my goodness. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, and yep. Naturally, they um, advertise MIG schemes when it comes a time for me to build this amazing, amazing kit. I might put it up to you guys, guys, and you can vote on it. Um, what, what paint, what camera you'd like to see me attempt? Um, some complex stuff in there. Um, yep, yeah, put it. Give me a Spitfire. Give me a Hurricane. Give me a Lancaster. Give me yeah, an aircraft. Yeah. But, um, but looking at this one, the paint scheme on that. My goodness. Wow. That's the early model A5. Wow. That's a bit of masking off everywhere you see. And angles. Only upside I can see to that would be the angle of the tank. So you have your guiding where where you're masking off. It is designated kind of line, so yeah, it makes it a lot easier. Alright guys, so I'm going to put this back in its... Um... Look at how thick these boxes are, really. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, it's like... Can you say a company spares no expense? No. But the detail on this kit, it's just, well you can hear it in my voice folks, so I'm pretty darn excited. Um, so yeah. Right, let's get everything back where it's supposed to be. One, mark, one arm does make it interesting. Right, everything's safe. Nothing destroyed here, folks. Right, in reverse. That is just stunning. Right. The evil through there, what look at that. And back. As you guys get to see it. German main battle tank Leopard 2 A5 A6 border models. That is just stunning. Guys, leave in the comment section, please. Um, what you want me to do with it? Put it back up in there. Right, let's get this back up again. Righto guys, you saw it, um, that's just stunning, 
I am blown away, especially the amount of detail on that hull. Uh, excuse us guys, that uh, throat's going again. But, um, wow. For all you, again, I'll say it again. For all you armor guys out there, hang on, let me get it right. For all you guys with that build armor out there, do all that weathering, everything else, um, hats off. Like, it really is uh, fantastic. I'll be doing a lot more research. Tell me, guys, do you want me to build this thing or not? Do you want me to put it, uh, do a build video on it after we do the Panzer and with the Aussie Modelers Live group build? Then I go on to the Spitfire. I can open up another channel just building that tank up there, that Panther. I think it was a pet, I can't remember. Bloody hell, that was amazing. Um, let me know, guys, and uh, yeah. Well, that's going to be it for this video. I really appreciate you taking the time to sit down and have a look. Um, thanks for watching Aussie Modelers Live. Don't forget, 6 p.m. this coming Sunday night. Hopefully, we've got some of the bugs sorted out. Probably not, but we're going to try. We have a great time doing it. We love what we do, and it's, it's made for people that... Enjoy modelling and enjoy a good laugh at life. Again, thanks to mickeysticky.com.au for those great uh, little drill bit pieces there. Yep, micro drill sets. Awesome. They are on the website, so go visit her. Outlawpaints.com.au. Great range of colours and more coming. Um, Andrew from, out, um, from fullballmodels.com. I um, mentioned it in Aussie Models Live. The VC Commodore. Check it out, folks. Can't go to a stop and buy it. That's uh, fullballmodels.com. Right out. What else have we got? And that's going to wrap it up, I think. It really is. Um, thank you, everybody that's sat and watched. And, yeah. Well, guys, as I always say, it's all good. And catch you later.